23-year-old Tanya McKinley had gone to Daryl's Bar and Grill in Pensacola, Florida to celebrate the upcoming New Year of 1985, but never returned home. To her 18-month-old son, her body was found half-naked after being sexually assaulted and strangled to death on January 1st, 1985. Police interviewed those who had visited the restaurant, McKinley's friends and family, but no suspects were ever found. However, due to advances in technology and so many online laboratories that process DNA for those looking to find long-lost family members, police were able to take the DNA from the bodily fluids left behind and create a family tree, which would lead them to McKinley's killer, Daniel Wells, pictured here. Once police said the name, they were able to track Wells, and when he made a mistake of throwing cigarette butts out his window, that was all the evidence that they needed to match the DNA and arrest him for McKinley's murder. Wells was arrested on March 18, 2020, and was charged with first-degree murder and sexual battery. However, before McKinley's family could receive any kind of formal justice, Wells hung himself inside his cell. So, at least there was a happy ending. <laughs>